Hi my friends, um, in this video we're going to be looking at the solution to question 6 on the January 2013 paper. Here it states the diagram below not drawn to scale shows a hollow cylinder with height 8 cm and diameter 12 cm. Now they're asking us to use pi as pi equal 3.14. Now here they gave us the cylinder and here is the height which is the 8 cm, this is a vertical um, distance there. And the diameter, which is at the cross, which is which run run across the base here, is the 12 centimeters. All right. Now, basically, if you if you notice, I have underlined the word hollow. Okay, and that's um, a concept that I would like for us to capture as we go along. Now, pretty much, my friends, the word hollow. If you're not getting it, it simply means then and and just imagine the the pipe in your bathroom. Okay, my friends, and um, the pipe in your bathroom is a hollow pipe. And this simply means, and let me just do a quick sketch here. Now remember, Will is not a good artist, so please don't laugh at his drawing, okay? So there I, here I have a sketch of my bathroom pipe, the water pipe, okay? And let me try and get this point here. Good, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad, okay? So, so let's say this is my bathroom pipe. Okay, and here, if you notice, um, let's say I pour water through this section. If this is my bathroom pipe and water is entering through that section, because it's hollow, it simply means then it has an opening. Okay, so the water is just simply going to flow right through and the water would exit out here. Okay, that's what the word hollow suggests, that it has an opening in the middle. So if you notice, all of this yellow section going straight down is a hollow section. It has an opening there. Okay, pretty much. Um, let us uh, move on now. Here in part A, they're asking us to calculate for the cylinder one, the radius, and that's a one mark, easy one mark, and part two, the circumference of the cross section, and that's another easy two marks. Now, if you notice, initially, they're asking us to calculate the radius here, but um, they gave us the diameter. If you notice this horizontal, this base here, this 12 cm, they stated it there that it was the diameter of the circle at 12 cm. Now, from earlier lessons, we would have learned that. And let me just do a quick sketch over here, my friends, so we can see exactly. Because, you know, I want you to have an absolutely clear idea of what is happening. Okay, what I'm going to do here, or what I'm doing here rather, I'm basically, imagine that I'm, I'm just focusing on the circle here at the top. Okay, so that's what I drew here, that circle. Now, um, our circle obviously would have a center. So let's say that is the center of our circle there. Okay, now we would have learned from earlier lessons that the diameter is any line that is drawn from a point on the circumference passing through passing through the center of the circle and touching really any point on the circumference on the other side okay so this line passing through the center going straight through and touching the circumference on the other side okay so from this distance here to that distance there that would be our diameter or that would be d so all of this distance here would be d okay and that's the 12 centimeters that they have there okay now um, again, we would have already learned that um, this from the center of the circle to any point on the circumference, that distance is called a radius. So, for example, from the circumference here on the circumference, straight to the center of the circle there, this would be a radius, okay? And also from the center to this section there, that would be another radius, okay, my friends? So, basically, by intuition, what you're seeing is that a radius plus another radius is the same distance as the diameter if you're making that connection because the diameter is the entire thing and any line drawn from the center of the circle touching the circumference and on any point on the circumference is called a radius right so basically from this concept we can we can um, reason that r plus r is the, is this is equal to d or it is the same as d because a radius plus another radius is equal to the diameter okay my friends now r plus r that would be 2r okay is equal to d which is my diameter based on our diagram there so basically um if they want us to get to find r which is the radius here we will just simply transpose if you notice 2 is multiplying r so i'm just simply going to divide through by 2 
divides root by 2. And this is part 1. Let me just make a note there. And 2 will cancel 2. So I have a R left over there. And R is equal to D upon 2. Okay, my friends. Now, again, they gave us a diameter. So um, that's easy to solve. They gave us a diameter. The diameter is 12. So obviously, therefore, we could state for answer that the radius must be equal to the diameter, which is 12, that they gave us. Diameter, which is 12, divided by 2. Okay, so R, or radius, is equal to 6. 6 cm. Okay, hope that you found that useful. Now let's look at the circumference, okay? of the cross section. Now they want us to find the circumference of the cross section in part two and the circumference is really um, the distance around the circle. So it's this orange line they want us to find. Okay, again, that's part two. So let's just make a note there quickly. Now to find the circumference of the circle, again, from earlier lessons, we would have learned that C, which is a circumference, is equal to two pi r. Okay, my friends? And the circumference in this case would be equal to 2 multiplied by pi. And they gave us pi here, which is 3.14. And remember, always use what they give you for pi, okay? So we're multiplying that by 3.14 multiplied by r, which we have found earlier. And r is the radius, which is the 6, okay? So we have here... And remember, multiplication is commutative, so it doesn't matter the order in which we multiply. I can simply say 2 times 6, that will give me a 12, okay? So that is being multiplied by my 3.14, and that is equal to 12 times 3.14, and that will give me a 37, 37.68, okay? And that is my that is in centimeters. So my circumference is equal to 37.68 centimeters. It's pretty much that easy. Um, see in the next lesson or in the next video where we'll be finding the solution to part B. Okay, bye-bye.